My name is Dan and I'm a market gardener at Local Harvest. I've been teaching a gardening course to people for about 10 years and one thing that I've tried to do throughout is give people enduring understandings, foundational principles that are going to set themselves up for success in the garden for years and years and years to come. Now I've been talking about succession planting, I've been talking about covering the ground with decaying plant material, ensuring that you've got a living ground cover at all times, um, planning your garden for an abundant fall and winter and overwinter harvest. And then I realized that there were some aspects of my gardening course that were missing and that's why I brought in Andrew and Jack. Andrew's a composting expert, Jack is an edible landscape designer and I found that we have not only great chemistry, gentlemen, but we also have a well-rounded course that we can help people um, become even better gardeners at home. So Andrew, you do the composting really, really well. Maybe just share some of your background and what you're gonna be offering in this course. Sure, thank you. Um, I focus on vermicomposting, which is a form of composting with worms. And that is because in nature, the very last organism to touch organic matter before we would call it soil is a compost worm. They literally poop soil. So that seemed a very logical place for me to start when I was looking to heal my body. I've had lifelong health issues with my guts and nobody is going to produce the food that I need like I will because I feel that pain. And so that's um, I've taken that passion and, and poured it into uh, how can I create the most fertility for the least cost by working with nature. Part of my health issues stem from all of the chemicals and sprays and things that are in our modern existence. So I'm going to teach you how to work with nature to build incredible fertility, whether it's uh, vermicomposting or bokashi composting or hot composting or mulching or any of these ways of adding fertility. I wanna share my passion with you. That's fantastic. So the soil food web is a foundational element in our gardening course and we dive pretty deep into some of the details around the fertility factory that happens in the soil. Jack has been focusing on edible landscape designs for quite a number of years. You've done such a fantastic job in your home garden here. Um, you have such beautiful spaces and maybe just talk about some things that you want to share with your audience um, in our gardening course. Yeah, I've been, um, I've been a, a gardener for over 30 years. <clears throat> it really is my passion. I've, I've dabbled in other things, but I've always come back to this. And the last 10 years or so, I've been doing landscape design. And um, to me, if you're going to be outside, you better be in a space that you love. And, and that's, that's mm -hmm. the kind of spaces I like to create. So even in this very room right now that we're in, I call it a room, even though we're outside. Yeah. It, it's got walls, it's got a roof, and, and we feel safe and enclosed and I want to help people kind of create those kind of spaces in their own gardens and it's it's not just about just about creating nice spaces it's also about creating spaces that flow and that are organized and well planned you would plan out your kitchen meticulously why wouldn't you plan out your garden in the same way it's it's just putting pen to paper it's thinking about how you're going to, the footsteps you're going to take and, and things like that so what I'm going to be offering in this course is is a way for you to become a garden planner for your own space. That's really well said. What we're trying to do is recognize that our gardens are an extension of our home. And we just want our, our you know, to, to, to spill out of our, our home into our garden where we can relax, we can hang out, but also produce lots and lots of food abundance. And so some of the elements of design that we're introducing in the gardening course will automatically allow you to become more productive, um, to, to waste less time in your garden, so that every move you make in your garden works towards higher production. That's and right. then have a, a quiet place to, to hang out, to meditate, and to reflect. I wanted to offer a course that not only focused on these important design elements, um, to become great composters, to become great gardeners, but to empower people to think differently about where their food comes from. And that starts with the individual. It starts with anybody who has, owns a piece of land, whether it you know, be a balcony, or you know, you're growing on a, on a larger garden in some raised beds, or you're a market gardener. This course is for everybody who's here to produce great food 
to improve food security for this world. We're in a very turbulent time. Yeah. Um, there's never been a more important time for us to really focus on becoming food self-sufficient in our home gardens. And that's really what we wanted to bring through to, to our audience. And I'm overjoyed to, to have you with us. It's a, it's a serious business, um, but we're having fun doing it. it and we wanna share that with you so that you can then share it with, with your children, your nieces and nephews, everybody in your family, everybody within your own community so that you can become an agent for change in your particular region of the world. 